Hi everyone, Basil Chapman here on this last day of the week. This is the first trading week of 2022 and we're looking at the Dow at 10 a.m. The Tiger Financial News Network market update down 20, trying to come back from a, a lower opening. But this is not bad. It's right on the 14 period exponential moving average at 36,218. You're looking at the S&P and just three days ago, it made an all time high of 36,952. So this is a very bifurcated market. You can see it very quickly. Here we go. The S&P weaker than the Dow quite a bit quite a bit weaker just in price but just the chart pattern says yep it's pulled back sharply from the 48 18 all-time high on the 4th of january trading right now at 4700 up four trying to rally trying to find some support of the long-legged doji candle from yesterday it needs to get into the uh, 4740s to suggest that it has a bounce that could last a little longer. Otherwise, it's just going to be a little bounce. And then we go to lower lows and lower highs. It is in a sell mode. In, this is the S&P in a sell mode in the daily. QQQ, we've been discussing that all week, how it got repelled at the Chapman Wave inside track repellent line. This is in a sell mode in the daily. And we're watching this weekly today at the close. We'll see what happens. I suspect that it's going to be sideways. And it's really next week that's going to be the tell all the way around. You're Looking at the IWM trying to rally here. Showed some nice, nice strength right on the 200 period moving average, and it's at 219.57 up 97. I think this 200 period moving average at about 219.30 is going to be a magnet, both up and down. It's going to sustain, keep that price in this range for a little bit longer. You're looking at gold, which was weak earlier on, then had a bit of a bounce, and now it's up to yes, it's the same sort of thing in a range. It almost looks like the yields is in a range. It isn't going anywhere fast, and we're watching the uh, crude oil, which had a nice early rally, giving back some right now. It's only up a penny at 47.48. In leg D in the Chapman Wave methodology, this is where you've got to be a little careful at that fourth highest peak. We'll watch it closely, but in the meantime, it's 79.45. Really good action. It's the TLT that needs to be discussed. We've been discussing it all week. It's week today at 142.51, Now that is sending the yields up a little higher. I'm gonna, in fact, I'll show the chart when we get back for the Tiger Technicians Hour of my triple yield pattern on the week chart. Very interesting. Hope you can say otherwise. Check out my opening call, my daily news. I'll be back in a moment for the Tiger Technicians Hour. Hope you can stay.